Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you on how to write a research proposal for your master or your PhD application. It will be divided into a few sections. Number one, we're going to talk about the background of your study, a problem statement, research questions and research objectives, a literature review, and also the methodology. The background of your study is very important because that will give the reviewer or your potential supervisor an idea of why you want to look at this particular topic. It should be an uh, introduction to the background of your study, uh, what is the big topic, and then slowly you bring the readers into the specific area that you want to research into. So that is background of your study. Then you move on to your problem statement because from the background of your study, you have introduced the concepts, the topics. Now, the question that people want to know is, why do you choose this topic? What are the problems? So in your problem statement, you will introduce the, what we call the research gap. Meaning to say, the, you are going to introduce the readers what has been reported in the past and what the past studies haven't answered some of the questions. So for uh, a, an idea of how to write a problem statement, well, there are a lot of resources on the uh, uh, YouTube, but you can also refer to one of my videos that I've done uh, about writing a problem statement. So once you have done your problem statement, then that should lead the readers to the research question. You might have uh, reviewed some literatures in the past and you may want to uh, focus on areas that they haven't uh, found out, haven't they discovered, areas that they haven't discovered. So what is the research gap? And that will lead the readers to your research questions. So what are the questions that are not answered by the past studies? Okay, so that will be your research questions. So from your research question, you will formulate a research objective of your study. You know, so these are the uh, so-called findings of the past, but however, you actually discover that some of the problems past studies haven't answered. So these are the research questions. Okay, so with this research question, you want to do a research. So that will be your research objectives. So from your research objective, um, the, you're going to move on to have a brief literature review because in uh, a proposal for master or PhD, usually it requires some a one or two pages of literature, brief literature review, or what has um, reported in the past and what was uh, unanswered. So this literature review uh, will be an um, so-called an expansion of what you have briefly discussed in your problem statement. In another word, you should have done some literature review and picked up the research gap. And then after that, you summarize them and these will form your problem statement. So when we come to the research, uh, sorry, when we come to the literary, re, uh, literature review section, you expand um, those literature that you have reviewed. And the next section is methodology. So based on your research question and your research objective, then you need to move on to talk about uh, how do you intend to carry out the research. So the methodology part would include a brief description of the uh, research method they're going to use, whether it's quantitative or qualitative, and issue covers um, some um, some elements in, in brief. For example, uh, the sampling technique that you intend to use, um, the instruments that you intend to use, and also um, the data collection uh, method and data analysis method in brief. And then, um, of course, it will end with a, a reference list. So this will be some ideas on how to write a research proposal, usually at the very beginning stage or maybe at the application stage where um, it might be just uh, three or four pages. It depends on the university. So I hope you'll find this um, brief uh, introduction to writing a research proposal useful. Now, for some videos about the big idea of doing research, you can head over to my channel and look for some of the videos that I've done, particularly to help um, beginners of researchers, of beginners of uh, those who are doing masters and PhD to draft their proposal. 
So um, I'll see you in my next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.